morning, Cradle Crew. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back and welcome if you are new here. I have a little Miss Shea here looking super cute and she is taken. She is a custom baby for Auntie Kim and she is finally ready to go home. I just had to do a photo shoot with her and she is super adorable. But isn't she the cutest baby ever? This is the Shea Sculpt love those dimples love that smile and this mama wanted blue eyes i don't know if you can tell but her eyes are blue i did a dark blue with some brown hair and she wanted combi hair on the top so super cute i love her i just love her she is making me so happy today she is bringing such positivity to the nursery i absolutely adore this baby so in other news everybody has been wondering what the heck is going on am i losing my mind why am i selling my silicone babies a lot of people are very curious i'm not going to say nosy but are very persistently curious as to why i would be selling them usually guys if a collector is selling dolls especially dolls that are loved as much as these guys. These are my dream babies, you guys. They're like the most prized possession in my entire collection. If somebody is selling their um, prized collection babies, it's usually for a good reason. And usually that has to do with money. <laughs> so um, for me, this is the quickest way for me to make the funds that I need to make and sell the least amount of babies in my collection, even though they are my most favorite babies in the whole world. They're absolutely amazing. Um, this little boy, baby Nathan, who uh, was adopted actually on the first day, this little one got snatched up by Auntie Shirley and will be going home to her very shortly. Um, so congratulate Auntie Shirley on her new baby. I don't know what she's gonna name him, but I'm super excited for her. Auntie Shirley has been waiting for a full body silicone baby for a very long time and was able to snatch this little one up when I had my temporary moment of insanity yesterday and listed him for sale on my website. So congratulations, Auntie Shirley. I'm really happy that he's going home to somebody I know, somebody that I know that will take care of him and love him, and I'll still be able to keep up with him. So super amazing that she scored this sweet little baby. And baby Lily, who is the Johnny Sculpt by Ina Volprich, uh, and was reborn by the amazing Kat Johnson. If you're interested in adopting this sweet girl, she is listed on my website. All her photos and description are available on there. So go check her out on my website if you're interested in this little girl. If she does not sell this weekend to somebody I know, like you guys, um, through YouTube, I want her to go home to an auntie, just like this little guy. If she doesn't sell in a couple of days, um, I'll probably list her on reborns.com because I know she'll go really fast on there. So there are a bunch of things I want to get going on today. I have some packages at the mailbox that I want to go um, check my PO box because I have a bunch of people who have told me that they've sent packages and I haven't received them yet. So that's what we're going to do first. <laughs> Look at little Miss Olivia. She's like, who is in my chair? Mom, she's not happy. So somebody's in her sassy seat. That's Shea's seat for now. <laughs> um until I'm done with her photo shoot but I'm gonna go check the mailbox and just see what we have in the mail and then I also want to do a little shopping I got a gift card and I think we're gonna go do a little bit of shopping today as well hey guys so I'm actually at a place called Bell's Outlet I got a gift card for Christmas from my mother-in-law and decided since Santa had not really brought me any reborn stuff for Christmas that I would go shopping for a few things for the babies and for babies going home. I thought it would be super fun to come here and look in their baby section. And I love this little doll. She's so cute. I absolutely adored this baby. I loved her little blonde pigtails. And then there was this little one. She is super adorable. I love her little face and her little smile. She has like the prettiest hair. So cute. I wish I had some bigger babies and those could be their dollies. Um, They had a few toys, but like a lot of stuff was really empty here. This place um, is now almost like a home goods type store. 
and they changed everything around and there's not a whole lot of baby stuff here. Um, I was actually pretty shocked at how empty it was and like how much smaller the baby section is, but I'm hoping to still be able to find a few things for the babies here. I love this little piggy bank, it's so cute. But there's this little um, car seat cover that was really cute, but it looks too girly for my babies. And this was kind of cool. There's a lot of towels and washcloths and stuff, like baby care items. I thought that those would be kind of cute for the silicone babies because you can bathe them and they're really fun for doing um, a lot of role play stuff with them. So I think some of this stuff is really cute. And this little set was adorable. They had a lot of like stuff for car seats here. Just mostly like sippy cups for like older toddlers and stuff. They didn't have a lot of bottles. Those Disney bottles were kind of cute though, but I don't think they're worth the price. And then all of these bottles were like four packs. So I don't need that many bottles. I have a small bottle collection and I want to kind of keep it small. So I noticed that they had a lot of like stimulation type toys, like for babies now it's like a lot of poppets and stuff but this little snack bowl was cute there's like pacifiers i love these little like stuffies with the pacifiers do you guys like these for your babies where they've got the little like loveys attached I like certain ones. I could have swore I had a monkey one at some point, but I might have gave it away. I don't remember what happened to it. So um, I love the like whole giraffe thing going on. So I might get like the little giraffe one. They've got a lot of teething toys here. A lot of bibs. I don't need the bibs though. I only have a couple bibs in my collection, but they seem to have a lot of gift sets. Those are fun. Um, I was kind of looking at like wraps and hats, like stuff for photos. Like a lot of this stuff would be really cute for like photo sessions, lots of hair clips. I don't need any of those. I have so many hair ties, you guys, but that was really cute. Like maybe for photo shoots. A lot of this stuff will be really cute for like photo shoots, I think. And there is a lot of cold weather going on here in Florida over the last couple of weeks. So I think these boots are really cute. They have these little gray ones, but they have like little dinosaur spikes or something on the back, I guess. I don't know. Are those supposed to be dinosaur spikes? They're kind of cute though. Oh, and if you guys are looking for boppies, I didn't know that Greyco made these like cool boppies and the patterns were really pretty on them. So um, somebody had told me they discontinued like the regular boppies, is that true? Um, I'm just looking at blankets here too, like for babies going home. That one is so cute with like the little baby doll. This one I kind of wanted, that little like space one, had a toy attached to it that I thought would be really cute to hook to the crib, but I'm not doing a space theme in my nursery, so I decided against it. So as you can see, I did a little bit of shopping and I scored some awesome stuff that I'm gonna show you guys because 
I do want to send those babies home, like I said, with a really awesome box opening. So I am gonna show you a couple of things that I will be sending home with them, but other things I just got for myself. Uh, I used a gift card that I got for Christmas. Santa did not bring me any reborn stuff this year, so I decided to treat myself and treat some other people um, that will be receiving babies for me with some little goodies. So that was super fun to shop for all the babies. And I just thought I would show you guys. Um, I'm going to be sending some little kits home with the um, silicone babies because they can be bathed. Um, so there's like a little ducky in here. There's a little wipes box in case you need to wipe them down. There's two bottles, a full sized one and then a four ounce one. Brush and comb set, which they will both need. There is like a little bottle cleaner in there in case you need that for your babies. But also um, there's a little pacifier. So uh, baby girl can take a full pacifier and uh, little Nathan can take a modified pacifier. So, so there's that. I think there's even like a little washcloth and stuff in there. There's all kinds of goodies in there. Um, a little spoon. There's all kinds of stuff in there. Super cute. So I thought I would send them home with that. Um, same thing with this one, only it's in pink for baby girl. So I thought this was really sweet. And then I got each of them matching blankets. So beautiful. And they're really soft. So then I did get these little babies some sweet little lovies to go home with. These are perfect size for them and they're super soft. So I'm loving the idea of sending them home with those and kind of sending them home with some matchy matchy things. Um, I also found this little newbie teething ring that I thought was really cute. Uh, it's a bigger one. So this would be cute for my bigger babies. And I just love the little wooden ring on it. And I love that this is very gender neutral and can be used for some of my bigger babies. So then I found this silicone pacifier clip by Lila and Jack. I thought this was really cute. I really love this. I love like the wood on there. It kind of matches like the teething ring and stuff. Um, I also found by the same by the same company, another little smaller teething ring that has the little wooden pieces and silicone beads on it as well. I thought that was really cute. I also found this newbie snuggles like pacifier clip that has this cute little stuffy. It's a little giraffe. And I love that this uh, nipple is so tiny. I haven't seen a nipple this tiny in a while. So I thought this would be neat to use for a baby with a smaller mouth, maybe like a twin A or something. I can use this for photos. Um, I have a couple of baby kits that I'm going to be doing soon that do have open mouths. So that might be kind of cool for like photo shoots with them. And then I couldn't resist these cute little boots for Miss Sassy Pants over there. <laughs> Miss Sassy Olivia, you got some cute boots. This would actually go really cute with this outfit even if I took her little booties off. And it just reminds me of something that maybe would go with this cute little lovey that she has, like her little boots with the bow and then her sweet little deer lovey. I don't know, so cute. That just reminded me of her, so I had to get it. Also, I found this little baby Einstein teether. I don't have anything by baby Einstein. So I thought this would be super cute. I love the little caterpillar on it. And it's also a rattle, which I've never seen before. And I don't have any of these little water teethers. So I thought this would be super fun for like Rylan or um, I'll be getting Jupiter and she has like an open mouth. This might be really cute for her to gnaw on. <laughs> so cute. And it's her size. She's like nine months size. So so that'll be fun for a future baby. Also, I ended up giving away all of my muslin blankets. Um, they went home with babies because I ran out of blankets. So I did find these cute muslin blankets 
and they're normally really expensive and even at walmart they were like 20 some dollars and these were only 8.99 so i had to get these they're nice and gender neutral and i can use them for photos because they have like a nature theme going on and that's just pretty much my um whole nursery anyway is everything that i've been getting i've been trying to get like a neutral color like grays and really soft colors so that all my babies can use stuff i'm starting to get more choosy after all these years about the stuff i buy for my babies i want stuff that i can use for any baby that's been like the theme if it has a nature theme to it even better and if it has really soft colors like this that's perfect i've been trying to find just very soft neutral stuff um, that I can pretty much use for any shape and size. Um, if you guys haven't noticed, when you start collecting and you get a big collection, you have babies of all different genders, shapes and sizes, and you end up collecting a lot of stuff for each baby. And eventually, if you have like 10 or more in your collection, you have an entire nursery just filled full of stuff. Closets full of stuff, drawers full of stuff, shelves full of stuff. Like these babies accumulate stuff. So <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to learn that I can cut down and just keep some very neutral nature-y things on hand now for the babies and they can share stuff and that will make it a lot easier and a lot, it'll make my nursery a little more spacious. So I'm starting to send home a lot of stuff with babies that are going home and kind of churning out stuff out of my nursery to other moms. So guys, I think that's going to be it for this cute little baby haul. I hope you guys enjoyed shopping with me and just seeing all these fun little baby things that I got. It's been a while since I've done a little haul. You guys, I will see you on the next video. You guys take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and take care of those beautiful babies. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.